Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, forgive me. Praise the Lord. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. You got it set on, right? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank God for who he is. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And what he has done. Welcome to a Helping Hands ministry. Yes. Yes. Christian Fellowship. For God. Isn't God in control of everything? Amen. Amen. God is good. Amen. Amen. All the time. And all the time? God is good. good. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for this third Sunday. And we are, as we go this morning, and <clears throat> let's go ahead and, and fill in this morning for Pastor who is out of who's out of town on vacation today. Yeah. But um, we're going to do our best to, to fill in in his stead. So we just thank you, Lord, <clears throat> for the opportunity. And, and, and as he goes on vacation, that, that he and Sister Cheryl are having safe travels and and God blesses him Amen. On, on his trip. That the, the guardian angels will protect him along the way. And speaking to briefly, he's already situated, so we know God is taking care of. This morning, we're going to open up with the 34th Psalm, verses 17 through 22. Continuation from last week, reading the Psalms. And you say amen when you have it. And I know, Sister Alice, I always use my barometer. The 34th Psalm, verses 17 through 22. Amen. 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 And I'll be reading from the New King James Version of the Bible. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears. And delivers them out of their troubles. Yes. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart. And he saves such as have a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But God delivers them out yeah. of them all. Let's read, let's read verse 19 together. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But God, I'm excuse me, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Hallelujah. Verse uh, 20. He guards all his bones, and not one of them is broken. Mm. And you know, that's messianic, because we know in the New Testament, right, this is the Old Testament scripture stating that when Jesus died on the cross, that none of his bones would be broken. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Prophecy. Verse 21, evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. Let's read that together. Verse 21, evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. That's us, we hope, trust and believe in that. Let's read that together. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. Boy, isn't that a good feeling? Amen. You know who won't be condemned to be righteous. Have they say perfect, just be righteous. Let's give God some praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you for reading and for the blessing of his holy word. Let's go to the throne of grace. Precious Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, dear God. First and foremost, we have to thank you, Heavenly Father, as we come and commune with you, Heavenly Father, that we adore you, Lord. We thank you for all that you've done for us, Heavenly Father. To bring us from a time when we were here last week, worshiping you, Heavenly Father, to another week, Heavenly Father. And we do, do not take that for granted, Heavenly Father. We thank you, thank you. for your providence, Lord. Thanking you for, for just being there. Give us an opportunity to put the clothes on our backs, Heavenly Father. Yes, yes. To get in our vehicles and drive here, Heavenly Father. 
thank you for all of that, dear thank God, because you. he's just yes. so, so awesome, yes, you dear are. God, for who you are. Yes. Give us the ability to adjust. Even had high, high gas prices, Helen, mm -hmm. you give us the ability to adjust, yes. dear God. Thank you for all that you've done, Helen Father. And dear God, we come here today and we worship Helen Father. And, and, and although our leader's not here, our beloved pastor, Helen Father, we're going to try to carry the torch, Helen Father, so it's still... Our worship service would be like a sweet smell and aroma to your nostrils, Heavenly Father. And, and that's not just you rep, uh, repetition, Heavenly Father, that you will, you will honor <coughs> our praise, Heavenly Father, as we, we go this morning and praise you, Heavenly Father. So we just thank you, dear God, as we move forward. We give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name, Jesus. let the saints say amen. 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 And amen. And amen. Uh, let's give God some praise. Amen. Let's give God some praise. Praise group. All right. Come let's, let's, let's make this praise with hymns. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Let's give God some praise. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Let the church say amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Walk with me. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. We come a long way. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. We come a long way. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We come a long way.
Just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can everybody say thank you, Lord? Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank, you, thank you, Lord. Lord. I just want to thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Yes. For giving me peace. Yes. Yeah. There's something about having peace, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Boy, no words, just just Amen. peace. That word, peace. Amen. It just just goes a long way. Just yes. just to relax and have no cares. <clears throat> Amen. It's just, it's, Amen. Thank you, Lord. So it's, it's it's so good to have someone that we can put all our burdens on and have the peace. Yes. 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 And 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 Lord, we just thank you. Thank you for that. For, for sending the Prince of Peace. Yes. yes. Yes, Lord, the, the dry, the die on Calvary's cross for all our sins. Yes. Like Dean was saying this morning, you read the scripture from First Peter. Mm -hmm. You know, you cast all your cares. Yes, all, all your cares. Yes. For he cares for us, right? Yes, he does. Like a shepherd. Yes, he does. He cares, cares for us. We'd like to welcome you to a helping hands ministry. Amen. Christian fellowship. Mm -hmm. Today on, on this third Sunday and and um in May, you know, our pastor's out on vacation this week, yeah. and um, we, we told him, we, 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 we did let him have one week this year, <laughs> we told him to come on back and keep him safe, you know, because um, he's the shepherd of our church, amen? Amen. amen. And Hopi and Sister Cheryl, again, we trust and believe, praying that they have a safe passage, um, spoke to him briefly, they, he did have a little incident, <laughs> Um, well, he got side swiped, mm. <laughs> but they, they, nobody got hurt. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's some. So you know, prayer makes a difference. You know, because yes, <laughs> you know you got to get ahead of that thing for protection, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have a little peace again. Right. Right. Got to have some peace. There's so much going on, yes. and we get called up. But but thank you again for for being with us this morning. We're worshiping at. 3003 Peach Orchard Road here in Augusta. And um, we just thanking God for who he is, for all of you, for our church. And we, we still got that new car smell, but we still trusting that COVID is going to give us a little relief so we can get out and, 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 and be more in full force, which we intended to do when, when, the, when the church was started and yeah. carry on the Great Commission. Um, our pastor is Dr. Um, W.R. Brain. And, and again, um, you look on, on the site to see where um, for the phone number to reach him. He he does hold office hours on Tuesdays. Uh, what time again, Deke? Uh, I think it's from nine nine to, uh, nine to twelve or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But but anyway, um, he do on Tuesdays. He does have office hours and he's ready for prayer yeah. at, at all times. You know, I, our pastors are praying, pastor. You know that. Amen. And um, he, he's a he's a passionate pastor so and I'm not just saying that because you know he's everyone's friend in the church. I don't say my friend but he's everyone's friend. Amen. And um and if you met you seem like he you know he he's, he's known you all your life. Yes. You know a humble person so we just appreciate him and, and Sister Cheryl. Yes. And so we, we just again just 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 thank you Lord for the pastor who is the the founder of this church. So with that being said, we have no announcements today. We still have our, our love feast coming up in, I believe it's May, um, our next love feast, um, where we invite everyone, we go and break a little bread mm -hmm. and, um, um, and go ahead and get together and fellowship in the Lord. You know, um, there's something about, about fellowship around food, you know. Jesus the last supper, right? Yes. Yes. It was a meal. <laughs> yes. So we, 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 we just thank you. And, and invite you to come out in the last Sunday in, in May. Yeah. So with that being said, I'm not aware of any sick or shut-ins right now. Um, I always just shout to Sister Cheryl, I mean, mm -hmm. Sister um, Sister Eltha, Cheryl's mother, yes. at, at all times. Um, so we just, just pray that God uh, protects her as well and everyone in the church. If there's nothing else going on with that being said, instead of hearing me babble up here, <laughs> you know, so... We're going to have another a musical selection by, by our praise team. Amen. And then after that, I'll be coming up and, and, and pass the stairs for a layman's message. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Give God some praise. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. I'm coming, Lord. I'm coming, Lord. I could. And when the scripture says make a joyful noise, Amen. I got the noise part down pat. But that's not my gift. Amen. But I hope that my gifts are being used in other areas. Yes, it is. And so we just think, we've talked about that many times. Deacon and I talked many times about that, mm -hmm. how, how the gifts. Yes, sir. Yes, so, you know, if, 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 if I'm the ear, and I'm paraphrasing from 1 Corinthians, right? the gifts. If I'm to hear, I'm not going to be jealous of the mouth because <laughs> I can hear. But the mouth can't, can't hear. So I'm going to be jealous of no one else's gifts. Amen. Amen. And so that, that, that's just not acceptable in the body of Christ, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. And, and as we talked this morning in Sunday school about that being the goal, that, that that's, that's not part of the body of Christ. But anyway, this morning, um, a layman's message and um, um, this morning, and, and pardon me for one second. The technical part here. So this morning, I, I got a, a layman's message, and I, I'm just thinking about Stephen. And Stephen was a deacon. Everybody remember the story of Stephen, right? Yeah. He's preaching, and then they stoned him to death, right? Yeah. The, the first recorded martyr, you know, for Jesus. But he was a deacon, and um, and he had a message. So in in 
what we call the help, help, help us the first seven. So in, in that light, then I come before you today and, and um, while pastor's on vacation. So, and, and hope that what I speak will edify everyone. Let's go to the throne of grace. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. And I always got to give you all the honor and praise, Heavenly Father. That coming before you this morning, Heavenly Father, that I would hope that the words that I speak will be your words, Heavenly Father. I'm just a medium to get it out, Heavenly Father. Yes. And trust and believe in that, that. And the words that are being spoken, every word, every, every dot, every tittle, everything, Heavenly Father, be coming from you. And that those words will edify the congregation, the hearers, those here with us physically and those out in, in Facebook land. Yes. So, dear God, I'm just thanking you, asking you to move in a mighty way with yes. me, yes. Heavenly Father, and to go ahead and proclaim your word, Heavenly Father, proclaim your word in a way where it will not damage anyone, Heavenly Father. But if you're involved, Heavenly Father, that's, that's no concern anyway. So anyway, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you. We give you all honor and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 This morning, if you can be patient with it, I got a, a, a language message, and, 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 and we got a mathematician <coughs> in the congregation day. I don't want to call his name, but, um, but anyway, he could probably figure this all out. I'm going to put it up here, but, but I don't know why I'm calling Jeremiah out. But anyway... <laughs> You see here, I like math too, and, and I believe God gave this to me, and I tell my wife all the time. I have nothing, it seems, when I've spoken before, but it seems just before I'm getting ready to speak, bam, it comes. Yeah. And so I just thank God for that. But this is a little formula. Okay, Jeremiah, and, and, and you may be able to help me out. But we got here a prayer. Got prayer plus Providence plus perseverance, all that time's faith is greater than your problems. And I talk about it some more. Prayer plus providence plus perseverance, all that time's faith is greater than your problems. Mm, come on. And, and subtopic is this is a formula for overcomers. This is not to say this is the formula, this is a formula. <laughs> Because God has so many tools. We have so many tools at our disposal. So this is a formula. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me restate the formula. <coughs> and Jeremiah already had it. He already had it figured out, right, Jeremiah? Yes. <laughs> he said, uh-huh. <laughs> restate it. Prayer. This is the same problem, same formula. Prayer with faith. Because remember, time faith was all of that. Mm -hmm. Plus providence. And faith plus perseverance with faith mm -hmm. is greater than your problems. Yes. <laughs> faith is through all of it, right? It's greater than your problems. Yes. Greater than your problems. Our scriptural reference is Romans chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. Amen. One of my favorites. <laughs> when you got, when you're down and you think you're a little depressed, go to this scripture. Go to this scripture. And this is from the New King James Version of the Bible. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Through whom also we have access by faith into this grace. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In which we stand and rejoice in hope <laughs> of the glory of God. Verse 3. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations. <laughs> None of you have any tribulations, do you? Mm -mm. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I tell you what. <laughs> right. I got a bunch of them. Let me raise my hand. <laughs> my fingers, my toes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I got them. And, and again, verse 3, not knowing that we glory in tribulation, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance. Yes. That we can sustain perseverance. We survive it. We getting through with those trials. And perseverance character. So not, not tribulations produce perseverance, and perseverance produces character. Yes. And character hope. Oh my goodness. What happens when a person loses hope? Mm. It's over. It's over. You look at every suicide person. Yeah, it's over. What, what, what is the common 
theme. Common denominator. There you go, another mad person in here. What's the common denominator? <laughs> Lack of hope. <laughs> Lost all hope. Yes. Every one of them. I'm going to interview any one of them. If you could put it in here, <laughs> lost hope. Okay. She says she can't see. Hmm. Come on. Oh, I'm over too far. Okay. <laughs> I try to get to the screen. Yeah. Thank you. People looking out for me. So. <laughs> now hope does not disappoint. Verse 5. Hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into the hearts by the Holy Spirit which is given us. Hope does not disappoint. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Look at this car. This is not a Ford. This is not a GM. This is not a Toyota. I'm the brand name of this car. I'm going to call it the Saints. Keep it in mind. It's not Toyota. It's called the Saints. Yeah. Saints is what we are. We're believers. This is a car for believers. If, if a person's an unbeliever, th this won't work for them. Because mm -hmm. faith is in all of it, right? Yeah. So this is the name of this car. This is called, keep that in mind as we go through. Now, I'm going to look at, you know, breaking down Romans 5, rejoice, hope. Rejoice means to boast in your expectations of what's going on. We're going to and your expectations. So you look at hope, means expectations. Believers boast in the expectation because the glory of God. I'm going to yeah. skip on. Glory is the same Greek word as rejoice. <laughs> so you glory, re rejoice. I'm going to drop down the tri tribulations on the right side here. Tribulations refers to physical hardship, suffering, and distress. Yeah. Oh my goodness, all of them. I mean, I, I fit all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Perseverance yeah. means endurance. Endurance. Olympians. That, that's probably common all. If you take anybody in track and field, you got to have what? You got to have endurance. Okay? You got to have endurance. Because without endurance, you know, like like like, like Paul says, you got to finish the race. Yes, sir. You got to finish the race. Trials and tribulations produce endurance. We exercise faith through such difficult times. Such faith produce our reward. Hope. Hope that believers have in the future glory of God will not dis disappoint. They put, they they will not be put to shame or humiliated because of their hope. The reason believers can be conf so confident is the love of God has been poured out. The moment a person trusts, a moment a person trusts in Christ. Mm -hmm. That's us. We're the saints, right? Yeah, we yeah. believe. Yeah. That person receives the Holy Spirit. Woo -hoo who constantly encourage them in their hope in God. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, <clears throat> Thank you Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. What is faith? Woo. That's a question. Everybody, mm -hmm. And everyone's, most people are familiar with this, right? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Yeah. It's Hebrews. Mm -hmm. there, there are other definitions. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on, on faith. Why is faith important? Woo! I didn't, I didn't write into the Hebrews also. Without faith, it is, what's that word? Impossible. Everybody say impossible. Impossible. To please God. Please God. Impossible. Meaning it, 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 can't, it can't help. I'm going to say I'm going to go out in this park and I'm going to fly. <laughs> That's not possible. Even among some kind of substance, I think I'm flying, but I'm not flying. <laughs> Because it's what? It's what? Impossible. Impossible. So you can't <laughs> please God without faith. Mm -hmm. And that faith is, that's why faith is in all of this. Mm -hmm. You can't please God. You, don't have, you can have the prayer. You can have the perseverance. You know, you got providence on go over. But if you don't have faith in any of that, that's why you got faith times all of that. Mm -hmm. Because if there's no faith in any of that, none of that works. The formula doesn't work. It doesn't work, does it, Jeremiah? It doesn't work. And in what does faith believe? What faith believes that God is, and that He is the rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Yes. That's our faith. You're gonna get the reward. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Got to have the faith. Faith was first. So if I got the faith, here's, here's back to that saint's vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I got faith on there. Can everyone see faith? Yes. 
That's, it's going to be a gas cap. <laughs> that didn't work out. But you, faith is your gas in your tank. There you go. Got to keep you going. You can't go home without any gas. You got to have it. You got to have some gas. So let's put some faith in that car. Let's put some faith in our tank. Because we are the saints. This us. Got to have a little faith in the tank, right? Amen. Okay, let's talk about prayer. Oh, my goodness. Prayer, all these things. Communion, adoration, thanksgiving, confession, petition, intercession, and submission. Prayer is. And let's go, let's break those down. Communion. We do communion first Sunday in the church. That's fellowship. <clears throat> prayer is our way of getting together and fellowshipping with God. Yes, it is. On a personal level, right? That's that time. It's an intimate communication with God. You see the reference I have here, 1 John um, chapter 1, verse 3. It's your intimate relationship with God. That's why people sometimes say, use an analogy, go in your closet, right? Mm -hmm. So to be intimate. Adoration. The praise of God because of his greatness and goodness. Woo! <laughs> Woo! I adore you, Lord. Yes, yes. Come to you because I adore you. We worship him on Sunday mornings because we adore him. You know, you can look at, um, um, when I, and, and I, I first, my, my wife, when we first got married, I walked in the door, I adore her, okay? <laughs> Although she may have cussed me out, but sometimes, not she didn't cuss me out, I just said that. But <laughs> when we first get married, but she, I adored her. I hope she adored me. Okay. The book of Psalms is the adoration of God. David adored God, adored him. Mm -hmm. If you don't adore any, any, anybody else, and I was joking about my wife, mm -hmm. we all know that once you're a saint, you do what? You adore God. Yes. And prayer is that way to do it. When you go to pray, you adore him. Thanksgiving, not pouring of gratitude toward, to, to God because of his grace, mercy, and love and kindness. That's a given. Confession. This part can be tough sometimes, right? But you're in your closet. Mm -hmm. Confession as a sinful person acknowledges his or her guilt, guilty disobedience. Mm -hmm. Leave the guilt with God. You confess with him and leave. Guilt is not of God, right? Guilt disrupts the former. Guilt disrupts the former. Only God through Christ can transfer it. any bitter, bitter self Condemnation to firm self-confidence. So you give that and say, I gave it to God. My sins are thrown as far as the east yes. is from the west. Yes. This is a request to be forgiven for sins. You're asking God to forgive you. Forgive my trespasses. Yes. As we forgive those trespasses against us, we forgive. The Lord, if you give <laughs> oh boy. Lord, if you can get me out of this one more time. <laughs> Yep. That's the famous. I, I mean, I'm gonna raise my hand. None of you never said it before. Huh? <laughs> Get me out of this this time. It'll be all over. Yeah. Never do it again. <laughs> never do it again. Amen. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Jeremiah, you ever said that before? At least, at least to your to your parents. I know I did it. My parents. Oh, don't do it. I won't do it again. <laughs> I am. When we're in trouble. But as mature Christians, we know we don't do that no more. Hallelujah. But this is all through prayer. We make a petition. This is what most of the time we do, right? Because we, we do all this because we're going to ask God for something. <clears throat> now, God wants us to make a petition. He knows what we want anyway. Mm -hmm. But you're in that communion with him, you know. In the letter to the Paul to the Philippians, Paul is following his master when he directs his converse to ask literally anything. Anything. Philippians chapter 4 and 6. Be anxious for nothing. Mm -hmm. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, that's a request. With thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. He's telling us how to do it. You got an issue? Take it. Take it. I got an issue, I can take it. Take it, take it no one else. That's right. You know, I, I know a person, you ask them, um, um, and I've got my family going to go laugh a little bit and say, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm hanging in there. <laughs> And so I'm hanging in there. And so, but we're all in there. We, when we hang, we hanging with God. Yes. Our protector, we are hanging because we're going to let all our requests known because we're going to go to God. That's right. 
Intercession. Defines petitions and requests on behalf of one's neighbor and blessings. We pray for each other all the time, don't we? Amen. We intercede for our children. Mm -hmm. Parents that are still around, everybody. Our loved ones. I pray for, for our family. Yeah. I, I like Sister Alice. She always said, we're family. Yeah. I like, you, you know how intimate that is when you say that you're, somebody's your family? Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that, say, whether, in other words, I love you. I agape you. Yeah. Yeah. I agape you. Yeah. That's when we're praying for your neighbor. Submission. As a person abandons his own will, so in your will of God. Mm. God, let your will be done. Ooh, that's a tough thing to do sometimes. I know Melvin's stubborn. <laughs> Melvin's stubborn. I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to be disobedient and do it my way. That's why I get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I still have the problems. Because <laughs> this will going to outweigh my will every time. Every time. Every time. 100%. 100%. Just like it's impossible for me to try to go out here and fly, it's impossible for, for me to outweigh his will. Now, when we pray, I'm talking about when we pray, we commune, we adore, we give thanks, we confess and make our request, intercede for others, and submit. We do all those things. Mm -hmm. Jesus covered all his errors in his prayers, too. Yes, he did. Except one. And that was confession. Why didn't he have to do? Why didn't he have to confess? He had nothing to confess to because he did not sin. He didn't have to confess because he was sin, no sin. But everything he followed, we followed his model too. So that's prayer, right? Okay, this is our car. This is our saints vehicle. We had a little few. Guess what we have? We have some tires, right? Yeah. That's how we gonna get down the street. So we put. That's our prayer. Our prayer gonna get us down the street. We few. So, boy, look at that Saints vehicle. That looks like a Mazda CX-7. <laughs> Providence. This is one that this can be a little more difficult to understand. There's a difference between a province of God and miracle. The word providence combines the, the, the prefix pro with the Latin word verdere, becoming prov, prov video. Prov, with the, you got me. I, I should have looked it up on dictionary.com. <laughs> But to see something and supply what is needed, much like the word provision. Mm -hmm. God provides the provisions every day. Every day. And this is difficult to see in a time. The providence of God is the constant care for and the absolute rule over all creation, his glory, and the good of his people. God provides provision. The theme of God's providence runs throughout the Bible. The book of Esther does not mention the word God in the entire book. But you see the providence of God because the care of God throughout the entire book. It was almost not included in the canon, which we call the Old Testament, because it didn't mention God. Mm -hmm. But you see God's providence through the whole. He cared for his people. He cared for his, his, his people. Third bullet, God is seen not only as the creator, but as the one who plans for, cares for, and God's creation. Everything was set in place at creation. When we walk outside, mm. and I did this the other day, and, and, and Deke, I may need your help. I went out last weekend, my fence all over the place. The wind <laughs> blew it everywhere. I didn't see like a Mack truck in it. Yeah. But there wasn't a Mack truck, and it's just the wind. Yeah. You can't see it, but it's, it's, it's powerful. there. It's, it's powerful. powerful. Wow. And, and, and God is there too. God is powerful. You see it. That's right. So that's good. That's the pro God put that in place in creation. He put the sun in place. All that's there. That preventive care. All that's that's there. He knows the needs of his creation and prepares for those needs. I'm getting to some folk. Come on. Leading some folk. By him, all things were created that are in heaven and that on earth. Visible and invisible, whether thrones, dominions, principalities, or powers. All creations. All things were created through him and for him. Colossians chapter 1, verse 16. The triune God, the God, the Father, Son, and, and Holy, God, the Holy Spirit, is the one who created all things, whatever is material or immaterial, seen or unseen. Mm -hmm. God's awesome power is released through awesome love and, and, and holiness. God normally works his creation through countless daily acts of providence, orchestrating and ordering events and lives, but sometimes he intervenes through miracles 
to accomplish his will. We don't get confused providence with miracles. Mm. Providence, what he put in action, when our food, let me see, when food, clothes, clothes, everything right on the back. Mm -hmm. That's God's providence. Because mm -hmm. we give credit to God for everything we have, right? Amen. Amen. Creator. Transportation. I didn't walk here. <laughs> Nobody in here. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. <laughs> and, um, and with gas prices, I know I got to put a little faith in my tank, too. <laughs> Medications. Huh. Medications. Yeah. Yeah. Medications. Medication. Finance. Financials. Mm -hmm. The money. The healing. Mm -hmm. Guess what? It all comes from God. Yes, it does. Yes. You give, when you go to the pharmacy and pick up that man, guess what? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you. That's God's <laughs> providence put in place. The difference with a miracle, we all know what miracles are. Something that was, we, we, we deem in our eyes the supernatural. It, 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 nature can't explain it, but it just happened. That's not providence. Providence is what we deal with every day. The food, the clothes, and everything that's been put in it's place. Physical. And we, we do that because that's why I put providence. It's called miracles, you think, be a supernatural event. Mm -hmm. But we have God's parental care. So everything that God's put in place through creation, that's the engine in our vehicle. That's the engine because that's all put in place. We see that every day. Yeah. We see the parental care every day. Ooh, here we go. Perseverance mm -hmm. it means endurance. Trials, tribulation produce endurance. And when we exercise faith during difficult times, mm -hmm. such faith produces its own reward. Faith. Mm -hmm. Faith is driving all of it. And it's the style of faith. Got to have faith. Yes. Got to mm -hmm. have faith. Perseverance. I got a whole lot that's important to read, right? Mm. Brother Rolando, Brother Rolando, we, we love this scripture. James chapter 2, verses um, chapter 2, verses 14 through 26. What is the profit, my brother, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? <laughs> Can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says to him, Depart in peace, be warmed and filled. Mm. But you do not give him the things which are needed for the body, what does it profit? Nothing. Thus also faith by itself, if it does not have works, it's dead. Mm -hmm. But someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without your works and I will show you my faith by my works. Mm. That's the endurance. Don't give up. Don't give up. Verse 19, you believe that there is one God, you do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. <laughs> but, do you, but do you want to know, oh foolish man, that faith without works is dead? Was Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac his son on the altar? He took him up there. Mm -hmm. 22. Do you need to, do, do you see that faith was working together with his works and by works faith was made perfect? Perfect. The scripture was fulfilled when Abraham believed God and it was counted to him for righteous. And he was called a friend of God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Verse 24, you see then that a man is justified by works and not by faith only. Likewise was Rahab the harlot who also justified by works when she received the messengers and sent them out another way. She helped the spies. And, and she's also counted in the body when Jesus and Matthew as the genealogy of Jesus. For verse 26, for this is the kicker. For as the whole, as the body without spirit is dead, mm. so faith without works is dead. Awesome. You can talk the talk all day long. <laughs> but we got to do what? Walk. Walk, walk. walk the walk. Hallelujah. You can say all day long, oh, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. You can have the prayer, you can have the the, the providence, but if you don't you don't get there and do something. You got to prevent. Don't quit before the blessing. Don't quit before the blessing. And I got to look. Let me, let me do this. And so that perseverance, you're in the driver's seat. You're driving the vehicle, right? You're driving it. So you got to get in there and, and get your, and do something. Because it doesn't do anything. Without. Now, I'm gonna, 
I, I'm not good at storytelling. Pass is much better at this. Um, let me, let me try to pull all <laughs> that person to person. A, a man, somebody maybe I got a different version. Um, a man with buildings on fire. He was on the first floor, right? Mm -hmm. Buildings on fire. The fire was coming up. No, he's on the second floor. Buildings on the first, the fire's on the first floor. So the man said, man, I got to get out of this building. God's going God's gonna to help me and, and perform miracle and get me out of this building. So what, the firefighters came up and offered a ladder. And he said, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I don't want, I'm waiting on God. Yeah, yeah. So he went up to the third, fourth, fifth floor. Nothing happened. Then they, they had a crane come in. He said, come on, man. You need to come on. The building's burning up. No, 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 no. So he went on up a little higher. He's up at the top of the roof. And they sent a helicopter. <laughs> helicopter come over. He said, come on, man. Here's the ladder. Get on. Here's the building's burning up. No, I'm waiting for a miracle from God. Mm -hmm. The guy burned up. Mm -hmm. And when he got to heaven, he said, God, why didn't you come in? And, and help me say, wait a minute, I, I sent you a firefighter with a ladder. <laughs> then I sent you a crane. Mm -hmm. That's his provincial works right there. That's yeah. problems right there. Yeah. And I sent you a helicopter. Yeah, you the problems. Go. And you didn't jump on. Now what you waiting on? No, we, 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 yeah, what were you waiting on? He didn't take the action. You got the faith, you got all that, but you got to take action. It was not complete until he jumped out there and we're going to do something. Mm -hmm. He had to get on it, right? Got to get on Got to get on the ladder. You got to get on the crane, and you got to get in the helicopter. It was there for him. It was there for him. So he he was in the driver's seat, but he didn't he didn't he didn't do nothing. So that <laughs> so we got to look review the formula. You got to review the formula. Prayer, providence, and perseverance. Time state. Got that got that Jeremiah. Got the little math in there. Greater than pro your problem. It's greater than your problem. Mm -hmm. But you got to, you got to put it together. Got, got to have it together. This is a form, right? Yeah. So that's that's our saints mobile. Look at that. I got a little faith in the tank. <laughs> I'm rolling on because I got prayer gonna get me rolling. Yes, sir. I got problems as my engine, taking care of everything, and, and I'm I got I'm doing the steering, I'm not doing the drive. God's my pilot, you know. Mm -hmm. I used to, my father used to have a tag, God is my co-pilot. No, 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 no pop, no pop. God is my pilot. Yes, sir. I'm just a passenger, his wheel. But that's our little saints vehicle. Look at that thing, man. It's looking good now. <laughs> looking good. Looking good. Fully loaded. This, this is my story here. I might take a person to, um, they get treatment, okay, for, for, for cancer. Yeah. And when I take the person to get, this is what I saw on the door. Yeah. They have, we don't know how strong <laughs> we are until strong is the only choice we have. Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. That's, right. That's what it's saying. That's right. Be stronger than cancer. Amen. Amen. I'm gonna replace this a little bit. Be stronger than your problem. Yes. Amen. Be stronger than your problem. Mm -hmm. When I saw that, I had to take a photo of that. That was so powerful. Yes. yes. And uh, that was so powerful. And then, then it go on. Never, never give up. Amen. Never, Amen. ever give up. Yes, Be a survivor. Yes. Be a survivor. Yes. And I, I, I tell you, it's, it's, it's something when I take this person to place. Everybody in there is so nice because they know yeah. Yeah, they that are. it's all about your, yeah. Yeah. your where you are. Yeah. Called depression won't do it. means you're giving up. Right? Where's that hope? Remember our scripture? You got to have hope. Yeah. You can't survive without hope. Yeah. You can't survive. So it is something with prayer. With the province, all the medications, all the care, all of that. You know where it comes from? That's that providence, right? It comes from God. So God, that's that prop. You know, every day you go, and we don't see miracles every day. Mm -hmm. The supernatural, but we got this providence every day. Yes. And so never ever give up. Everything you need to do, <laughs> you do it. Yes. <laughs> Because then, because because again too, and then you got to have that faith with it too. Because without faith, you cannot please it. Please it. Do you know where your problems are? Do you know where your problems are? Mm. In the rearview mirror, that car. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's in the rearview yes, mirror. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you pull it all together, and you look up. <laughs> it's behind you. <laughs> 
That's where you want it on that car. So we just thank God that we are able to put everything in that rear view mirror, that formula. Amen. Yes. Jeremiah, thank you for that, man. I know you can calculate that and all that, <laughs> that formula. So we just thank God for who he is yes. and who he was. And I hope that, that the words that were said were edified at least one person. Thank you, Lord, for thank that. You, let's, let's go to the throne of grace. Precious yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes. Lord. We give you praise and we give you honor, dear God. Yes. That dear God, that hope of this form for overcomers will help someone, Heavenly Father. As I stand and stare for our beloved pastor, dear God, that hope of the word went forth and still the proclamation of that word will help, Heavenly Father. Yes. We all have problems, dear God. We all have problems. And, and if, if a person says, I don't have any problems, just keep living. Mm -hmm. Because, Lord, we know that you allow those to have and knowing that rain fall on the just and the unjust. Mm -hmm. But, dear God, those of us who are just, we have a living Savior. And our Lord and Savior, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, who went to the cross. Who's our intermediary, Heavenly Father? Who's our Prince of Peace? When we, we, we think we have some things going on, we have peace in Christ, Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. We have that peace, Heavenly Father. Knowing that through faith. The fuel of our, 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 our engines, Heavenly Father, our engines, Heavenly Father, faith for all of it, for the perseverance, faith, dear God, for, through prayer, faith. Because if, if our prayer, Heavenly Father, you know if it's, if it's not a, a genuine prayer, it's just a prayer in vain, it's just wasting our time. So we have to have faith. We got to believe to be overcoming, Heavenly Father. So we thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you for all that, that you've done for us, Heavenly Father, and what you will do. Because you're just such an awesome God. So we can go and say, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Glory. Thank you for all you've done for us. Because yes. there's no one like you, yes. Heavenly Father. No one yes. like you, yes. Heavenly Father. So we got to cast all our cares to you, Heavenly Father. Can't cast all our cares to, to any man or any woman, Heavenly Father. We cast our cares on you. Yes. We may get that support, but we cast our cares on you, Lord. Yes. So we thank you for all of that. Thank you for, for just putting things in motion. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for all of it, Heavenly Father. Because we can't, we can't make it without you. We're your saints, Heavenly Father. We're the saints. We're the believers. We're the ones, Heavenly Father, that, that have that vehicle, that, that car. We have that bumper stick on, saints, or we got that tag on it, or, or, or we got that name plate for saints. Because we are yours, Heavenly Father. Yeah. And we know we can't please you without faith in you, Heavenly Father. So we thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you Lord. Thank you. We give you all honor and praise, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, Jesus. let the saints say amen. 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 And amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. For the opportunity, Heavenly Father, thank you all for to 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 indulge me as we talked about that. But we got to be overcomers, don't we? Yes. Yes. We we gonna be overcomers. I want everyone to say, I'm gonna be an overcomer. I'm gonna be an overcomer. I am. Oh, hey, hey, that's even better, sis. Thank you. I am an overcomer. I am an overcomer. I am an overcomer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. As we move on. This is the time we give back. Deacon McKinney. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's giving time, church. Thank you, Jesus. It's giving time. We want, we want to thank Deacon Smith for the, the nice little, nice speech he gave. Yeah. Right now, it's time for us to give back a portion to what God has given us. This, this this song I know it's, it's it's out of order, but I'm gonna do it just a tad, tad bit of this song because it means so so many times the Lord made a way for me so many times yes the Lord made a way for me. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He picked me up. Yes, he did. Turned me around. Hallelujah. He placed my feet. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. 
on solid ground. Yes, Lord. Mm. So many times. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Lord made a way for me. I just had to get that off because uh, Deacon Smith touched my, my soul. Lord, when you start talking about cancer, I've been through it. And he was talking about the how friendly the people are at this particular place, the radiation center. They're real good to you. And, and, and upon finishing your, your treatment, they even give you a little certificate mm -hmm. with the names on it. And they, they, it means so much to have a support system. Mm -hmm. But it goes beyond that when you got your family behind you. But most of all, when you got God, yeah. that foundation. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Would the congregation uh, help me in the reading of the Second Corinthians 9, 6 through 8? But this I say, he who sows sparingly would also reap sparingly. The human who sows bountifully would also reap bountifully. So each, let each one give as he holds purposely in his heart, not grudgingly of necessary. For God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you always have it, all sufficient in all things, may have an abundance in every good work. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this thank opportunity you, to be here today. Mm. Without you, we know nothing is possible. Mm. But with you, everything is possible. Amen. For you said in your word, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whoever trusts and believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Right now, we thank you for your son. Thank you. We thank you. We know that we cannot beat you given, mm. but one thing we can do, mm. and that is try. Bless you, Lord. We ask your blessing in your son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 <coughs> Myself away. Yeah, yeah. I give myself away. I just want to say before we um, close out this morning that that God is an awesome God, isn't it? And Dick, Dick said something and reminded me, and um, that I had in, in the message. <laughs> but um, Holy Spirit, I'm, I'm, I just thank God for Him and the Holy Spirit that whenever you're going through something, a problem, you have support. And He said, you have support. <laughs> And um, so what I, what, I, what I say there is, um, and to pull the scripture, I, I was bad about this this morning. I guess when you go to bed at 1.30 and you go to bed a little early, 
But um, um, when Jesus, there, there, was a, there was a guy who was, um, he, he couldn't walk. And everyone remember, remember this. And Jesus was, was, was preaching and he was healing. Mm -hmm. And so he couldn't get, he couldn't, the, the guy, of course, he's on his bed. He couldn't get to, the, get to Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. So what did his friends do? His friends, what, lifted him up. Lifted him up, and they dropped him mm -hmm. through the roof, you know. And then, of course, <laughs> when you go down and Jesus, you know, he touched Jesus. He couldn't have got there without his friends. Mm -hmm. I always think about that support. He could not have gotten there. So all the, 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 the guys that were helping him, and that was a task. You think about it, trying to lift <laughs> him up, somebody on the bed, mm -hmm. and get up, and because they had, because they had what faith. So it's not only a journey for that person. You got a problem. Mm -hmm. There are other people that support you too. You take it to God. God may lead you to go somewhere else. Amen. You get it? Because everybody's in that journey with you. Mm -hmm. The guy came down, he touched, he's healed. But he couldn't have gotten there without the support. Mm -hmm. So that's what this thing is. So everything that you go through a problem, and that's provincial care too. That's God sending people to help you. And we, we get that help. So we keep that in mind, the support, too, that we need support. We thank God for it. And, and, and a lot of times when we get help, <laughs> can't be too proud. They want to be that guy on, on, the, on the building, right? You want to burn up. <laughs> so some, you got to accept it, okay? You have to accept it. And we are like that. I'm, I'm, I'm like that, too, you know? Um, so, but, um, you know, use that discernment to know when people are actually trying to, they're really trying to help you, or they just lip service. Mm -hmm. Don't profit much. Remember James? Don't just say it and say go about your way, right? Mm -hmm. You do it, but you do it from the heart. You know, you agape that person, right, sister? Right. <laughs> you agape. You love that person. Right. So with that being said, I'm going to thank you Lord, for your service, but what we do is let's go ahead and um, we're going to close out in prayer before we do the benediction. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you and give y'all honor and praise, Heavenly Father. Trusting that this 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 service, Heavenly Father, did end up being the uh, uh, sweet smell of the moment to your nostrils, Heavenly Amen. Father. For all of us that are here, Heavenly Father, we love you, dear God. We love you for just providing everything for us, because we know it all came from you, Heavenly Amen. Father. And through this prayer, Heavenly Father, we know we're communion with you. We ain't seen, Heavenly Father. We adoring you. We're, we're thanking you, Heavenly Father. All, all those things, Heavenly Father, because we just love you as our creator, as our Heavenly Father, Heavenly yeah. Father, and for, for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross, yeah. Heavenly Father. So we just thank yeah. you for that. As we yeah. persevere in our lives, Heavenly Father, we do not give up because we all gonna say we are survivors. We are overcomers, yeah. Heavenly Father. But we can only do that if we have you, yeah. Heavenly Father. And you know it's impossible to please you if we don't have the faith that we can do it. So we just thank you, dear God, for being who you are. Dear God, for, for helping us become overcomers and give you all honor and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. For the benefit. Amen. Now, may the God of peace, who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you complete in every good work to do his will, working in you what is well pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ. To whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. God has smiled on me. He has set me free. God has smiled on me. He's been good to me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now.